uh, hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to talk about some more uh, questions okay so here the question is count the total number of zeros from 1 to n okay this is our question and how we are going to solve this question is simple we are going to count number of zeros const count number of zeros okay here we are taking number as an input and in this number we let's say counter let counter is zero okay and uh, we will just run a while loop until we have a number here we will just say counter equal to counter plus uh, math dot floor okay number divided by 10 i will also explain why what why this logic is like this and we are just going to update the number with math.floor number divided by 10 okay and uh, we are going to return number so consider that uh, our input is 55 okay so count is we need to count how many number of zeros which is coming from 1 to n okay 1 2 3 4 5 up to 55 how many number of zeros do we see okay so math dot floor number by 10 so this will give us counter equal to initially the counter was 0 so let's update this counter equal to counter plus math dot floor number by 10 so it will give us 5 okay and now we are just updating the number in the next iteration so 55 by 10 the number is reset with 5 okay the latest value is 5 now it will again run because number is still 5 okay math dot 4 5 by 2 it will not do anything and here next time it will give us 0 okay so number of occurrences now you can see the total number of occurrences you can determine with this simple set of code okay there are other codes like counting the number of walls this I have already covered the but I will use some regex pattern to explain all these examples okay so we will be using expressions what we have want is there is a string has been given to you you have to count number of walls in this particular string okay a e i o u this is what we need to do and there are multiple ways of doing it so we can actually do the match we can actually do match okay so there can be a multiple options you can say that we can just you iterate on an array and for every character we can do a dot match or the whole string for the whole string we can do a dot match and I uh, and can get the length okay so uh, one simple example is uh, we can use a regex pattern okay how it works is users count number of walls okay we got the string this is expression we are looking for a e i o u if every character is matching with this we are increasing the counter a very basic one right this you can also do it directly to the string instead of iterating on to a, a string array what we can do is a string dot match uh, here we can just do let False counter equals a string dot match and what we are matching for we are matching for a e i o u ok so this is our regex so what we want is when we do the match you will actually get the value out of it so what we need to do if this is there this comes out as null then do this okay I mean uh, not found or something like this was counter dot length this will give us how many number of walls are there okay or you can actually do this simply dot length here also if this is not null okay or another logic is you can just iterate onto this and uh, do the filter like this array dot from string string dot filter we are just checking if uh, this string 
includes this uh, or not I mean this string is uh, as a part of this false or not if yes then it return true and then finally we are just doing a dot length on the returned array that's it so there are there are many possibilities and with these array helper methods things are easy okay now another thing is how to check prime I mean very basic question where you just need to just run a loop from i is to 2 to number of uh, length of that prime number i plus plus right and you just need to check the modulus of i is equal equal to 0 then it will return false otherwise it is written true right it is something like this I mean I'll just write code snippet okay we just run a loop onto this we can just uh, wrap it around so here I will just pass this number okay this should return true false this is what it is doing it is running a loop and it is just saying uh, if number is mod modulus by i equal equal to 0 then it is return false otherwise it is return true before that you have to check if number is less than 2 then you can return false this condition also you can add I mean if number is not a number or if it is not infinite and number is less than 2 then we can just simply return false okay and if number is greater than 2 uh, I mean greater than or equal to 2 in that case we are just checking uh, we are iterating till that number and we are doing a modulus of each and every number to that number and we are just checking if it is divisible by that number I mean what is the prime number from the definition you can clearly clearly understand the logic okay and here we are returning this so it should be a loop I think there is missing piece yeah uh, another basic things uh, we can just talk about reverse a word we have already talked about capitalizing a uh, first character of a word right uh, reversing a string using recursive way string dot split dot reverse dot join reversing a word or capitalizing the first character of a word all these things are simple uh, there are different ways to do a reverse okay simple way what we do is we first do a trim then split dot reverse dot join trim re replace removing the spaces then split dot reverse dot join right similarly for anagrams we have already written lot of code so but there are n number of possibilities to write this similarly what you do is we just do a split dot we do a lowercase split sort and join and then compare two strings both are equals or not okay i mean in this video i'm covering i think very basic questions which here and there we have already talked about okay now my next thing we are going to talk about is uh, something good okay uh, we are going to talk about some more advanced questions so this is all I have for the weekend okay now another thing is this camel case to title case right we did it a trim and then split then re reverse replace capital with a space and cap okay this can be a simple function just a logic nothing else but how we do it we first trim and split based on the spaces in a particular sentence then we are taking first character okay uh, first character and we are just doing uppercase for the first character and slice rest of the string and then we are doing a concat so that we can get the map and then again we are doing a join to get the final output okay so this is how we can do okay this is all guys uh, I think I have covered enough questions for today now what my next target is to cover few more JavaScript array questions and we will come back to the link list how to do how to solve the questions of link list in JavaScript like finding a loop uh, link list traversal uh, removing a middle node from a link list uh, link list using stack and all these different different approach okay thanks everyone